poorly designed. Oh, hell. Mars? Well, my daddy's still the champ. Cause all kinds of problems, he finds out what we're into. He had you pegged all along. The penalty for rebellion against the council is termination. But because of your heroic services as a warrior, you are exiled to the primitive planet Earth, there to dwell in human form until you learn to restrain your hostility. This control unit will monitor you. Hostility? No, no, not good. The sentence is passed. Conflicts happen often. Oh, yeah. Just another day in Dodge City. Why do they battle? Always the same thing. Cattlemen versus those smelly sheep herders. And who wins, the, the cattle or the sheep? The good guys win. The good guys always win. Who are the good guys? They're the ones who ride off into the sunset. Enjoy it, partner. I think I could really like this Dodge City. Howdy, partners, the old buckaroo at Buckman Drew Motors. And I'm telling you, the bargains we got around here are so good that folks are fighting over them. Look out there! This Wild West shootout sale we're having is really heating up. And old Buck's prices are so low, it's downright dangerous. See what I mean? Hey, y'all better get on up here when some of them be still left. You know where that is. It's Buck and Groove Owners, Hollywood Freeway, and Sherman Lake. Where well, you can save yourself a buck and save old Buck, too. You better hurry. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Well, your pace would indicate urgency. I must go to save a buck. As humans say, a penny saved is a joy forever. No, Buck is a human in trouble. I must help. And you are looking forward to helping this human? Is it not a condition of my punishment? Yes, a part you have been slow to fulfill until now. Why? There is fighting in Dodge City. I must hurry. Once again, you revert to your violent ways. I am only trying to conform to their society. <laughs> All right, quiet, everybody, and action. Hey, it's the old buckaroo again. Now, y'all grab the next station. Come on up here, because we're talking deals, deals of the century. I'm here. I'm here. I came as fast as I could, old buckaroo, and I have the stage. God, 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 can we have some help here, please? Hey, no, it's OK. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Man, obviously come from a long way to get here. Where you from, Slick? A long way. <laughs> We're gonna make it worth his while. Buck, time, time. Okay, TV boys got me roped up here for a minute, but uh, hey, Joe, yeah. you take care of my friend here. It's okay, he's a, he's a friend. Are you okay, Buck? I'm okay. I'm grabbing the next stage. <laughs> God, where'd he come from, Mars? I want some coffee up here right now. Looks like you need some wheels. No, these legs work fine. <laughs> In Los Angeles? Are you kidding me? 
Is this not Dodge City? Dodge? Oh, we don't handle Dodge, but I can show you something even better. <laughs> Real smooth there, Buck. I'll send that fella home in bucket seats and 36 months of payments. <laughs> you think you can do that? I don't know. I can learn. You did. Partner, there were some lean times after leaving the rodeo. It looks like you made it through all right, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, told you there'd always be a place for you here, Travis, in a minute. I just don't know how happy you'd be in the car business. I've always been a hustler, but you, <laughs> you're a cowboy. I don't know, Buck. The way I've been riding lately, it's hard to tell. Buck, can we please? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. We'll talk later. He's trying to nail me for a job I promised him 100 years ago. Yeah, but if he's a friend of yours. Hey, we can't have him anywhere near this place. You don't know him. We'll all end up in prison. No wonder there is so much fighting in this Dodge City. Look how they crowd these portable dwellings so close together. How can anyone live comfortably here? Hmm. These large mammals are moving into this neighborhood. I have not seen this species before. Whoa, whoa! Probably a horse fly. Dumbest animals in the world, horses. <laughs> whoa! Stand there! Stand! Easy credit terms. No money down. Pay for it on time. Oh, Buck says time is running out. You're one tough customer, Jesse. Let's cut straight to the chase, okay? Ah, oh, the chase, good. Good. How does that number look to you? Clear. <laughs> because I thought Buck needed help. Well, you listen now. We're putting on a small charity rodeo across town, and we can always use a good hand. I have two. <laughs> hey, well, your foot ain't too bad either there, partner. But we just might have to get you a uh, new pair of boots. That shoe looks a mite worn down. <laughs> Come on, let's go. There you go. Now all you need is a 10-gallon hat, and you're all set. A hat is not to carry liquid. It is for the head. I hope your riding's uh, better than your jokes, pal. Dodge City. Like on television. Yeah, not exactly. There's not much of this life left nowadays. Sure been good to me. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mark. Jesse, I wanted to meet my boy, Mark. We're gonna find some work for Jesse. You know animals? I've encountered many different creatures. You know, when it comes to cleaning stables, they're all the same. <laughs> Excuse us a second, Jesse. <laughs> I tell you, Mark, Buck's got a good thing going over there. Buck McGrew couldn't shine your boots when he was in the rodeo. <laughs> yeah, well, today I can hardly buy a new pair of boots. 
You're in a slump, that's all. At your age, it's a slump. At my age, it's a condition. This animal you call a horse is poorly designed. Its legs seem much too thin. Oh, yeah, well, uh, old Merlin here is kind of frail. <laughs> Son, every day it gets a little harder to get out of bed on these old legs. I can't ride forever. Why not? <laughs> You're my number one fan, ain't you? I, I just want things to stay the way they are. Well, son, nothing ever stays the same. Nothing does. Your friend Jesse's a brave fella. Now, you should have seen him over at Bucks, I'll tell you now. Hey, wait a minute, how'd you know about that? Don't know a thing. Just seen him climbing on Merlin. Oh, hell. Jesse's got no business on that killer. But that's about as funny as pulling wings off a butterfly. Yeah, yeah I thought so. You know, that horse almost killed a man in Wyoming. I accept the challenge. Get him out of there before he gets killed. <laughs> Strike one blow is not to win the battle. Ah, uh, they've made repairs since the fight. Well, you know this bar, huh? I saw the big fight here. I uh, hadn't heard. Sasparilla, please. Sasparilla, please. You too, huh? I just can't take that hard stuff anymore. I made the Rodeo Hall of Fame a few years back. Booze, it kept me out of the big money. Excuse me, uh, would you mind? Well, no, not at all there, partner. Saw you at the Denver Livestock Show back in the 60s. Well, you used to be one of the best. Hey, you in the Rodeo, too? I cleaned the stables. I'll treasure this. Thanks. Uh, uh. Funny thing, Jesse. Reach that stage in life where you are used to be. Sort of makes everything look downhill. I, too, am uh, used to be. Oh, yeah? The bottle will take you out? Women? <laughs> the law? <laughs> I've been there too myself, partner. But now, I am facing the toughest of all, the years. I don't know what's worse. Quitting what I know best. Or all them folks in the stands telling me how I used to be. Well, looky here, the Sarsaparilla twins. <laughs> Why don't you just run along, Shelby? I ain't in the mood. Hey, Travis, I hear they're starting the senior rodeo circuit. Now, you should fit right in. <laughs> Ride all the rest home. Miami Beach? <laughs> That's a good one, Shelby. Shut up. Hey, maybe the stable boy here can give you a few pointers. He stayed on that killer horse longer than you ever did. Yeah, well, that's because he didn't know how to let go, did you, you dumb stable boy? I would rather be a stable boy than a smelly sheep man. Hey, why don't you go brush down my horse? You don't meet this saloon's dumb limit. Just another day at Dodge City. No, wait, why don't I just buy you boys a drink and we'll call it a night? <laughs> or not.
the sheriff. We'll see him out here tomorrow. And thank you now, you hear? Thank you now, you hear? Sorry about the handcuffs. So who won? Uh, nobody wins in this sort of thing, son. Nobody. Now you remember that. Sammy's old wagon died again. Should have been sold for parts years ago. Don't know how he's kept it running. Death is always sad. But the living must keep on going. Mark, I think you better get Jesse during the supper. See you later, Hoss. How do you earn your supper, Mark? Oh, whatever needs doing. I'm good with the horses. I ride pretty good, too. You speak like a veteran. I've been rodeoing since I was a kid. When Mom and Dad split up, I stayed on with him. It was a tough choice. It is difficult to choose between two people who love you. Well, I figured he needed me more. <laughs> he threatens to quit every now and then, but he never will. He has reached the stage of his life where he is a used-to-be. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes. I am a used-to-be, too. Well, hey, that's your problem. But my daddy's still the champ. Start shoveling. You are a warrior with great spirit. It is sad we must be enemies before we can be friends. These four-legged creatures seem bothered by my presence. They have good judgment. Your insults will not get you home any sooner. Mmm. Rich in minerals. Suitable for plant life. Most valuable. You have been placed in charge of this matter? Yes. Clearly a most important position. I have been studying the world of cowboys. There is relevant data in my video banks on this subject. I'm not interested in your data. Perhaps you will learn your lesson when you wear the black hat. The black hat. What is the black hat? Drop it now. Nice and easy. Hold your fire. We're coming out. The black hat is obviously cursed. I would strongly suggest you forge alliances with the white hats. They never lose a battle. Jesse, I got a big surprise for you. <laughs> well, go ahead, try it on. Well, for goodness sakes, now. I am sorry, Travis. That wasn't a big surprise anyway, Jesse. You're gonna trade that shovel in for a saddle, pal. But this work will be much more difficult with a saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's rodeo time. Welcome to Los Angeles, California, and the Policeman's Benevolent Fund Championship Rodeo. Featuring the world's top cowboys together here today competing for top prize money. Cowboy contestants you see gathered here this afternoon and came from all over the United States and Canada. They've come from Chandler, Arizona, all the way from Idaho, Hanson, Idaho, Pendleton, Oregon, and all the way as far as Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, big time now, huh? Stable boy? <laughs> don't smile when you say that, partner. Well, see, big guy, if on your butt tonight, it's in front of a lot of people. <laughs> Any man riding alone who knows the country like the back of his hand, even in the dead of night, could make it through. I don't think you're getting the picture here, stable boy. <laughs> this town uh, ain't big enough for the both of us. 
Yeah. By the time I get through with you here today, boy, you're gonna... Hey, you two boys hold it down back there. Oh, hey, don't fret, Graham. It's all them good folks out there forgot your name a long time ago. Shelby, if hot air was horses, you'd be champion for life. <laughs> well, folks, we have a special guest today, Mr. Buck McGrew. Hey, you blood for me? It's your old buckaroo. How y'all doing today, huh? Hey, can you make room for me and the girls? These ladies are IRS agents. Old buckaroo's being audited, and I love it. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Travis, you're looking good, boy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like you couldn't even get on a horse anymore. Guess that's what happens to you in the city. <laughs> Can't wait to get back on the road. They still come to see you, Dad. You are the rodeo. Well, you see now here in the arena, our stagecoach pulled by the four up horses with a beautiful queen attendance on top. Now there's some beautiful ladies out there, isn't there? And now, rodeo fans, the former junior rodeo champion and rookie of the year from Bakersfield, California, Shelby Platt. Great to see Shelby backing into the box now. Of course, he just nods his head. Out comes the calf. He's right on to him, puts a loop on him, runs down the rope, and puts the calf to the ground. Puts that paper string on the front foot. He's ready to get a calf kicking a little bit. One, two, three wraps, and that's it. Good roping, Shelby. Time of 9.5 seconds. Put some tide with Travis Brady in Saugus, California. You remember now, this horse is going to do half the work for you. Then I will give him half my supper. You go get him, boy. Our next cowboy contestant's a new fellow, hometown cowboy that goes by the single name of Jesse. First time in the arena, folks. Let's give him a big hand. Well, now, I believe that's a new world record for wrestling a press booth to the ground. I guess the press is his favorite subject. Let's get some people over there and help put that booth back up so we can go on with the rodeo. He don't belong in the rodeo. <laughs> he belongs in the circus. Our next calf roper this afternoon is a Clovis cowboy by the name of Harvey Clay. A top money winner in the state of California. For last this week. primitive weapon requires much skill. Oh, hey, this is the first time I was in the arena. I must have chased that calf around in circles for five minutes. I mean, at least you caught some. You keep practicing there, you hear? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, time of 15.1 in the calf roping so far. Back to the stable. Break us up. Stable boy. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. They cannot see me, yet they know I am here. These creatures clearly have greater perceptual qualities than humans. Yet they allow humans to ride on their backs. Data analysis. This creature is known as a horse. Equine. Hay burner. Nay. Oats. Hay. Nay. Winnie. Win. Win, place, or show. Saddle. Bridle. Stable. Watch your step. Yuck. Flicka. Trigger. Champion. Secretariat. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Hey, Wilbur, get a load of this story. Here at the bottom of the page in the corner. Mm. Little old lady leaves cat $50,000. Oh, that's silly. What do you mean, silly? What's a cat gonna do with $50,000? Well, he won't have to chase mice in his old age. That's it. At one time, horses were masters of the humans. They must have lost their power when they lost their voices. Jeff knocks his head and out of the chute on a top bucking horse. Look at the action here. And down he comes. 
Well, a mighty fine try for one of Montana's favorite sons. Let's hear it for Chip Carlton. Well, how about a big round of applause for a pickup team here this afternoon? Our next saddle bronc rider is Shelby Platt of Bakersfield, California. He's drawn a good horse by the name of Zeb. He's just about ready down there in the chute. Pulls his hat down. Looks around and gets a hold of his rein in his left hand. Eases down on the horse. Out he comes. Shelby Platt, Bakersfield, California, riding Zeb. Well, looks like a pretty good ride this afternoon. And the whistle blows and reaches down with his free hand, gets a hold of that rein, and waits for the pickup man to move in. Well, he kind of played dodge him there a little bit. And a pickup, whoo what a nice ride for Shelby Platt. This young man from Bakersfield is going to be hard to beat. Of course, our next rider wouldn't have it any other way. In shoot number one, riding Merlin, one of the top bucking horses, one of the top drunk riding greats of the all time, ladies and gentlemen, Travis Brady. Don't get him, Dad. Come to see. No, son, they come to see the memory of what I was. I'm not gonna go out there anymore and let the fans down. Or myself. Dad! <laughs> you're as good as ever. No, I'm not, son. I know you think I am in your mind, but. Riding on past glory, I don't bring home the prize money. I gotta start thinking about the future. Not just mine, yours too. College is right around the bend for you. I, I don't need to go to college to ride in the rodeo. You didn't. Mark, you got your mother's brains in my rear end. I tell you now, if you want to use your rear end after college, that's fine. Dad, don't do it. Mark, I want you to get your stuff together, son. I'm going to Bucks. I'll be back for you. I'd rather go to Mom's. That's your call, son. That's just the thing I need. That killer horse will sell cars. Unbridled horsepower, 150 times that, under every hood of a Buck McGrew car. That horse could have really hurt my dad. That's what makes him a star, son. 200 for the rest of the weekend. Okay. <laughs> I better go check with the boss wrangler. I got a beast picked up in the morning. Uh, enjoy. Let's go dancing.
Now I'm ready for the little cow. Your eyes are leaking. That is the sign of sadness. I just lost my dad, Jesse. I have been lost. It is only a temporary state. He's left the rodeo. <laughs> Says he's getting too old for it. Your father is a great warrior, Mark. He will always be a great warrior. He's a quitter. No. A wise soldier always knows when to leave the field of battle. I will help you look for him. You'll find him at Buck's. Uh, that sure is a nice car, honey. Look at all the extras Buck is throwing in. I wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't? Not for you folks, no, sir. I mean, with two kids and the little lady with another one on the way, you're gonna need something with a little room to spare. Something that's a little easier on the sticker price. And at the gas pump. They want it up and he's selling them down. We go back too far, I can't put him out on the street. But I can't have him here, neither. Cause all kinds of problems he finds out what we're into. I know how to get him out of here and maybe sell a car or two at the same time. Not how you get places on public roads. Well, not on a horse, you don't. Say, didn't I see you on the rodeo yesterday? Yes, I'm in the rodeo. Hey, you guys put on a great show for our fun. Well, where are you taking this thing anyway? Buck McGrews. That's just up ahead. You know, I heard you take anything in trade, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, come on, I'll see you get there in one piece. friends. Folks, Travis Brady at Old Buckaroos. God, God, God! What the hell is that, Mr. Travis? Well, I thought it would be exciting if the horse would rear up and... Uh... Don't think. Don't think. And don't rear the horse. And you know what? Mark was right. Because now I feel like a fool here. Is this better than it used to be? <laughs> That's a good one, Jesse. Choice between used to be and never will be. I often feel like that. When I dream about going home. Uh, yeah, you feel like you can't go home until you earn their respect. Well, I feel like that right now. I really let my boy down. He does not want you to leave the rodeo. Hell no, and neither do I, but I know that it's the right thing for me to do. 
I mean, even if it doesn't work out here, I mean, I still got my championship belt buckles, right? They can't ever take that away from me. That's a part of my past I'll cherish forever. But it's over and it's done with, Jesse. I got a lot of years in this old boy. And doggone it, I'm gonna make him count. Those words are true, Travis. We cannot be used to bees any longer. You're absolutely right, partner. You put it there. Come on, Jesse. I'll give you a ride back. I need to find out how Mark's feeling about things. Has all the features you were looking for, even the right color. I can't believe you got it so fast. I thought there was a waiting list for this model. Guess what? We're connected by computer to dealers all over California. This car is dead. What? It should have been sold for parts years ago. I don't know how he's kept it running. <laughs> a joker. <laughs> hey, Brady, will you tell your pal I'm trying to sell a new car here? <laughs> what a joker, huh? <laughs> Jesse, what are you talking about? It's like Sammy's wagon. I saw it pulled in here this morning by the pointy truck. What do you mean, the tow truck? It can't be. I mean, it probably just looks the same. Wait a minute. There weren't any of these models in stock this morning. Uh, hey. hey, Brady, what are you doing? Is there something wrong with it? No, of course not. He's just doing a routine check here. <laughs> This car has been driven more than two miles. Mister, this isn't a brand new car. I wouldn't buy it if I was you. No, I get this all straightened out, okay? <laughs> Something's going on here. I think this is a chop shop. What is a chop shop? Discuss that with the buck. Well, Travis, it's simple. Guy orders a car, he doesn't want to wait eight weeks on the factory. So we steal one off the street, fix the odometer, and nobody gets hurt but the insurance company. The way I see it, Buck, horse thieves and car thieves are kin. You know what they did to horse thieves. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to climb down off that high horse and get with the real world? You're not the real world. You're just another slick-talking snake oil peddler. And you want to know something, my boy? He had you pegged all along. Travis, I'm in with a rough bunch. You think they're just going to let you walk away from this? You can fix this if you want to, old buddy. I suppose you're not going to go right to the sheriff, huh?
at each other. That's a sight I thought I'd never see. Well, we just snuck out of that one. Listen, let's head up onto my place in Big Bear. ready for the big cow. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, you know how many cars men have to sell to make what a fair to middling bronc rider can make on a good Sunday afternoon? No, Shelby, I don't. But I aim to find out. Car folks asked me if I'd like to have my own dealership here and... and we said yes. Well, everybody in the outfit's been saying it. it's gonna take something doing to fill Travis Brady's boots. Oh, thank you, Shelby. Oh, hell, he's at it again. He ain't ever gonna let anyone else sit on his back. There ain't gonna be any more used to bees around here. I'm gonna miss you, partner. together. It's very difficult to say goodbye. You cannot stay, and I cannot go. Perhaps one day, we can ride together again. placed on this planet. Why couldn't it have been in the time of Dodge City? That would not have been punishment. You would have enjoyed it too much. It was a time of heroes and villains, a simpler time. Today, it is more difficult to tell who wears the white hat and who wears the black. Hats are important in this society. The humans have an expression. Home is where the hat is. The cowboy had no home. Like me, he was a wanderer. But you do have a home, and if you meet the directives of your punishment, you will someday return. Perhaps it is not so good to be the cowboy. behind the lifeguard when wise guy changes pace later tonight but first the murder of two investigators leads jake and the fat man on a bloody trail home next <laughs>